Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a custom code that I made based on this uh, playground on the timepanels.net website. And here is the result. This is quite good for showing off your portfolio, your project, your service or maybe your uh, photo gallery and something like that so what I did is I made an element here which using a, which use a repeater control and let's set the style 100% first And inside the repeater here, you can add many uh, item as much as you want. Uh, let's do that first. Inside the repeater control, uh, I have for a field, which is the one for numbering. Uh, each item number two for title number three for description and number four is for image so there are uh, one two three three kind of a uh, field uh, the first is a text type the second is text type 2, the third is text area type, and the last is the image uh, type control. And you can see the, the documentation of each control in here, an academy.bricksbuilder.io website. <coughs> and let's duplicate and see. Okay, and see the result. Okay, um, <coughs> what I did is, uh, the first thing is create a new element file in your theme child folder. And I have named it a gallery zoom.php and you, you will see, uh, I will share the code with you and you will see that uh, everything uh, code that I write uh, the name, the category, the script, the style, and of course the controls and the render uh, function here, and you can learn from from the code itself. Then uh, after uh, I made, I create a file don't forget to include the file by using this function and you can see this in your function theme child function file in your theme child <coughs> and uh, the second function is uh, for this uh, gallery work uh, you need to add a loading class to the body loading class name to the body element so let's see on our console mm, let's uh, disable the javascript first see there is a loading on my page and i restrict uh, the page uh, this is only the page that should have a loading class so I'm using this function actually you can ignore this this second and third uh, option this is the ID of my page 
but if you ha if you have uh, other ID page, then you can then you need to replace this ID with your actual ID. And if you wanna uh, make uh, uh, if you you wanna uh, insert the element into multiple page, then you need to copy this code and paste it and replace the number with your uh, other actual ID and then don't forget to enqueue script and enqueue style so the CSS file and the JavaScript file will loaded then mm, all right don't forget to uh, add a category name here I, I name it my add-on so let's take a look here let's see here this category will show up on the bottom of the list element and what else oh yeah uh, you need to create a file a asset file which which is a CSS file and JavaScript file and I will share the link uh, for both of this uh, file for uh, with you so you can uh, copy paste to your a uh, blank file and Um, I think that's enough. You will, uh, you can observe or learn from the actual code. This is a really simple. Um, but I think this 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 code is not perfect. There are a lot of things that I have not checked. you can discuss with me or with uh, other member if you interested so uh, thank you for watching you can test the element with uh, in your project and if you have anything to ask or some suggestion about next videos uh, please tell me on the comment box below thank you for watching and happy coding